Hey, welcome to the channel. This is uh, my first video. You might hear some pitter patter from my buddy Dio here. Um, we're going to go over uh, swapping out the grip on the M17. So, when I bought my M17, it was right after I shot my issue weapon uh, in the Army. Uh, I was really impressed by the feel and everything. Uh, it's a vast improvement over the M9, uh, but there are a few downfalls of it that I have noticed. I don't know if anyone else has any other major issues, but I did notice that after I added the red dot on here, um, when I would present the firearm, uh, my red dot would always be pointed down, and I'd have to find the red dot, and I think that was mostly due to the grip angle. So after shooting this for a year with the red dot, I finally decided to uh, switch over to a different grip. Uh, just got this from SIG. I purchased it. Uh, SIG did not give this to me for free or anything like that. Uh, it was about a hundred bucks. Uh, this is the XLG and it's got some new stippling on it um, and we're gonna try it out and see if that helps uh, with the grip angle I don't know if it's gonna have a huge difference but we're gonna give it a shot uh, one thing that I did notice after I ordered this is that it's missing the slot right here for uh, the safety to stay on the M17 so um, didn't want to cut that out and try to do that myself, so I finally uh, searched for the lever or the safety lever pin. Uh, every store I saw online uh, was sold out, uh, and then I finally was able to find them after uh, locating this business uh, AB Prototype down in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Uh, their shipping was super quick, and I can't thank them enough for sending it up here. Um, again, I purchased it. It was not provided by AP Prototype. So, not having the safety, uh, not a huge fan. Um, the safety, I think, uh, on the M17 is a little redundant uh, and it is not necessary. Uh, but the Army has to do some uh, CYA uh, for their not so top shooters. Um, so, taking it off. Uh, it's just going to benefit me in the long run. Um, I have shot this gun uh, set up just like this at the Tactical Games last year. Uh, it shot really well. Um, I was able to <laughs> battle through my issues with the uh, grip angle and the red dot sight. Um, and uh, I think it'll just be an improvement after taking the uh, safety off. Because uh, I didn't use it anyway, so it's just it's just there for show right now. Um, one of the guns I did have an issue with uh, with the safety is uh, actually an HK USP. Um, I started getting back into competition shooting uh, with USPSA. Um, I was I have s several pistols, but I was like, you know what? I'll bring the old uh, classic out and uh, try to run that guy. Um, because this thing shoots super accurate. Uh, one of the downfalls is, um, the weapon is clear, um, is that the safety, and it may just be for me, but I shoot with very high thumbs. Um, I would slightly depress on the uh, safety. Um, and it's not even that much, but it's kind of hard to mimic how that goes down. So I'm not really putting a whole lot of pressure on there. No, nope, that wasn't. <laughs> here, we'll try to make it work in a way here. So, as I'm running through the stages, I'm, I must be gripping the gun a little more. Um, but when I would go to shoot, I, no matter how hard I would pull on the trigger, uh, I would not be able to fire with me pushing on the safety. So, had to pull this out of the rotation because uh, of those issues because time cost points so 
it was time to uh, figure something out. So I've been shooting with my Glock 17 more. I would like to do more carry optic shooting uh, with USPSA. And, uh, and I'm also trying to get into the PCC uh, side of it as well. Um, but without boring you too much more, I think uh, I've been talking enough. Um, we'll get into uh, getting this thing stripped down. Uh, it's a little dirty because I just shot it uh, not too long ago and was too lazy to clean it. Anywho, so uh, I'm going to take the flashlight off first because it's going to have to come off and go on the new uh, uh, drip module anyway. So I'm going to set that off to the side. Uh, again, it is clear. So go ahead and rotate. Take down lever. And off the slide there. The sheet is a mess, so good thing I have some paper towels over here easily uh, get to. Uh, so, and then it's just wiggling out that. And then the grip module should pop up. Now, you may have it get hung up here with the trigger. Uh, you just kind of have to pull on it a little bit and then it should rotate out just like that. Uh, then we have the grip module, or not the grip module, the uh, trigger assembly here. So in order to take the safety off, you have to push down on this pin right here. And it shouldn't be too much pressure. Not a whole lot of pressure, actually. I thought it was going to be a little harder than that. Um, and then you're going to want to watch this right here because that will bounce off if you're not careful so and of course I'm in my basement so I may uh, lose something down here that's not going to be great alright so the left, left side trigger should rotate off just like that Got the two pieces of the pie right there. Don't want to lose those. Alright. So then you'll notice that the bar for the safety has been removed, and uh, we'll have to replace that with the new safety lever here. Well, the safety lever pin, excuse me. should slide right in there with minimal effort, but oh, it looks like I rotated her down. There's a piece in there that came down a little bit. So you may not have to manipulate it a little bit. So if we were to put this back in the old module, the issue with that is without the safety that is is that pin will be exposed and as you're firing it, it may wiggle out. So, get the new one opened up. already. Uh, the cool thing is you don't have to switch out the safety between the two grip modules. It's just simply Legos for adults, if you will. Um, so we'll just slide this back into the new module. And we're already losing a pin, so that's great. So you'll have to watch that. And I have to do a little manipulating here to get it to go back through the other side.
And I will tell you in advance, this would probably be a lot simpler if I had cleaned it before I started all of this. But I like to make things difficult. Make sure you push this pin back in. That is key. Now we can put it back into the new module. Easy peasy. Alright. Right. I'm gonna do a little rotating. It looks like if you push it to the front, it will slide back in, rotate it back, put the slide back on. Let's see what she does. If it works, she's not locking back to the rear without the mag in. There she is. New grip. Looks pretty good. I like the stippling on it. It's very. It's got a good grip on it. I think this uh, this dog will hunt. Flashlight back on. Take it down a little bit. Not too much. She is good to go. Yep, I like that a lot more already. Very good. Uh, these are both medium grips here. So, I don't know. We'll have to run it. It does have a bigger beaver tail there. Um, it's not quite as round as the original grip. So, that is... It's uh, pretty good. It did run me about 100 bucks. Uh, on SIG's website, and uh, if you need that safety lever pin, uh, check out APO Prototype, or excuse me, AB Prototype. They're the only ones I could find on the internet that had it in stock, and this is the part number right there that you're going to need for that. Um, like I said, the M17 is a vast improvement over the old M9 um, and there's no real need for a safety on the M17. Um, the M9 had a terrible location with its safety but maybe that's just my opinion. Um, but SIG definitely uh, did well with this one and the Army I think is moving in a good direction of buying quality weapons for the soldiers, um, and that's old news. So I think uh, that's all she wrote on this one. Um, I'd like to thank uh, the sponsor of the channel, Mountain Mama Armory. Check them out on Instagram. Their uh, retail website will be up soon. Uh, they're more of a uh, importer exporter bigger contract company, but uh, they're going to be a more domestic brand here soon. And uh, yeah, hopefully you learned something. Hit me up with any questions. I'll help you uh, go through it. Uh, and if I'm an idiot, leave that comment too, because I don't really care.